set, go. 90 seconds. 90 seconds with Ginty. I was rolling through my CD collection uh, the other day. Yes, I still have CDs. 20 years in radio, you tend to collect quite a few of them. As I was saying, I was going through my CDs and stumbled across an album that I haven't listened to in quite some time. It's from Faith No More. It's the album called Angel Dust. Now, this was the follow-up to the album The Real Thing, which featured the smash hit called Epic. I wonder what happened to that goldfish from the end of that video. <laughs> anyway, Angel Dust was released in 1992, and it sold over 3 million copies worldwide, and also spawned the single called Midlife Crisis that went to number one on the modern rock chart. Now check this out. The front cover features a pale blue airbrushed egret. That's a bird, by the way. Now the backside, flip that thing over, it's pretty gross. It shows a uh, raw cow's head, a bunch of hanging raw chickens, and just raw meat hanging on hooks. Drummer Mike Borden says the image of the meat on the back of the album has nothing to do with being anti-vegetarianism. He says it previews the music, suggesting a combination of aggressive and disturbing then the album can also be soothing. I mean, take the song, the instrumental, Midnight Cowboy, great piece of music, very calming, very relaxing. Then crank up, be aggressive, totally different worlds. Keep an ear out for some interesting samples throughout the album. You're gonna hear some pretty cool stuff. In fact, the single Midlife Crisis samples the first bar from Cecilia from Simon and Garfunkel. What's your favorite song off the Angel Dust? I'd like to know, email me. JasonGinty at gmail.com. Me, I like everything on the album, especially the song Everything's Ruined, RV, and of course, you gotta get a copy of Midlife Crisis and put it on black. Yep. Send comments to JasonGinty at gmail.com. Get more episodes of 90 Seconds with Ginty at jasonginty.com.